Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you allow me to say only what is necessary, Father God. I pray in the name of Jesus that I do not run over off of the mouth and it's just the words you need me to speak on camera. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. There is anger that we should be slow to, you know, right? I'm telling you, this anger that I have inside of me is a slow burn. It's been a slow burn. It's a righteous anger. It's a righteous anger. I am so tired of the enemy tricking, trying to trick women and getting them to believe that they should settle for less. And they should look for simply carnal things in a man when they're dating or when they're in their singleness, you know, cause we don't even need to be looking. We don't need to be looking. We are the chicken salad. God told me that last week, he said, you are the chicken salad. You know, that meme with the lady and she's doing this with the food and she's eating her salad and she's just enjoying it. Women are to be enjoyed for who they are. We don't have to be anything but ourselves, but we, we allow the serpent to speak to us about who we need to be and we allow other influences about what we need to have and what a guy, what a man needs to be in our lives and stuff. Throw that out the trash and pick up, pick up this book of instruction because this book of instruction is too good to pass it up. Get down in the book. Ask God, what do you have for me in my life? What is your will for my life? It makes my stomach hurt at this point because I'm, I feel like I want to remove myself so far from obsessing over a man. It is just pitiful. I pity anyone who is just obsessed over a guy. And I pity them now because I pity myself when I do it. And I still do it. I'm not telling you I'm perfect. But the obsession over a guy and the obsession over the drama of a man and creating drama in your head, I cancel that. So let me pray about it. Like a lot of times I'm not even open and available for all the drama. I don't want to hear it because I'm up to here. Like I feel like. I, I, I've i just, my whole life, I've absorbed the drama of others and I've created drama of my own and I've sought out drama and I'm done. I want to be drama free. And I just want to make a prayer over the listener, you listening, that you just seek to be drama free. You study this book of instruction with how to handle drama and don't keep entertaining demons. Don't keep entertaining low self-esteem. Don't keep entertaining um, not feeling complete and whole in the Lord. So Heavenly Father, I pray right now for the listener in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every assignment that the enemy tries to plop in their path, Father God, that they would sidestep it, that they would eradicate any feelings of low self-esteem, low confidence, not knowing their worth, not knowing who they are, feeling scared of the enemy, feeling scared of people who have um, made false accusations against them. There is no fear as as we walk with you, Father God. Um, Father God, the, you says in your word, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. I am righteous before you, Father God. You cleansed me of all unrighteousness, it says in your word. So I thank you, Lord, that I am leaning not on my own understanding of what the enemy wants to say about me, 
making me feel like I'm not good enough, making this listener feel like they're not good enough for a better relationship, not good enough for a better standard, not good enough for um, just wanting to be, having to be second best or settle for second best. Father God, I pray that they look past the physical because the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it looked good to Eve. The fruit looked beautiful, but it brought about shame. It brought about guilt. It, it brought about fear of nakedness, fear of what others would think of your nakedness, Father God. It brought about uh, feelings of embarrassment. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we're not embarrassed, Father God, that we know who we are. We are walking in newness of life that we would taste of your fruit, that we would get around people that are indulging in your fruit, the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of the, the works of the flesh are dead. They lead to death. But we dwell in that when we dwell in drama. We dwell in that when we look at carnal things and we look at um, uh, just the beauty of people. Oh, this person is beautiful. They must be a great person. Not necessarily. And Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we would look past our shallow standards for a man because we let men get a pass because they look good. We let women get a pass because they have the right a uh, cut breast size. We get we give people a pass because they're handsome, because they're gorgeous, because they have the the right length of hair that we like, because they have the right haircut, because they dress the way we we like. They have the swagger, they have that charm. That's deceptive and it's fleeting. It has nothing to do with what the will of God is for their life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Of course, we want the best for ourselves and we want someone that we're attracted to. But Father God, let us not get caught up and entangled and ensnared by drama from the enemy just because we want a partner that look, a, a spouse that looks good. We want a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend that looks good. And, uh, and we want to entertain drama on top of that. I pray that we set that package aside, that package of, oh, they've got the full package, that charm that I like, the things of the flesh that appeal to my flesh. I pray we set that thing aside and we start looking to what the spirit wants for us, getting deep with God and knowing what God wants for us in a future spouse, in a boy, a future boyfriend, girlfriend, or in our current boyfriend and girlfriend, Father God, knowing that they're not perfect, knowing that they are a flawed individual, but there's somebody that gives us peace. I pray in the name of Jesus, we shut out drama from our lives and we cling to peace as our portion which only comes from you and you alone. You are the source, God. We love you. And I pray that we release any unforgiveness, any feelings of bitterness, wrath against people in our lives, in the past and in the future, Father God. Let us walk fearlessly in what you have for us in this season and give us insight for the future seasons of our lives. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.